Hello and welcome, I'm Machine Dana, how are we doing? Really, really well. It's a very quick video I'm going to do today just to show you how you can run files as administrator all the time by default without you having to right click and da da da. There's two ways of looking at this. One, you could say it's cutting out some of the time, but let's be honest, it's only going to cut out one or two seconds per instance. There's really not a lot of time, so that's more of a convenience thing. The main reason why you'd want to do this is because you could probably quite easily forget to run a file as administrator when you need to run it as administrator. So where I'm coming from for this video is I've previously done a video quite recently of nine streaming tips for a smoother, more stable, consistent stream. And one of those nine things that I recommended was to run as administrator. The thing is remembering to do that's not always so easy when you've got other stuff going on. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can set it so that it always runs as administrator. I'll also briefly show you how you can then run the application through a stream deck so that when you press the button on the stream deck, it will run it as administrator. So you don't even have to click it. You can just open up your stream deck if you're lucky enough to have one of those and just press the button to open up the application. You can do this for Streamlabs OBS, OBS Studio, XSplit, OBS.Live, all the different broadcasting software. It's a Windows specific thing. So in that regard, this video also isn't just for streamers. This video is for anyone looking to run any file automatically as administrator. If you do find this useful, hit the like. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. If you want to check me out at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana, feel free to do so. And without further ado, we'll get into it. Okay, so I'm here on my desktop and I've got, for example, OBS Studio and Streamlabs OBS in the corner here. But again, this can apply to any file where you want to run it as administrator. What I'm just going to do is I'm going to right click and properties and we need to go into the shortcut properties here. Within the advanced tab, there's a little checkbox here to say run as administrator. If that's pressed is okay. Make sure you press apply on that as well if you're doing it for the first time. This is the target that it's going to run. So this is essentially the location of the directory because obviously this is just a desktop shortcut. So if you go to Windows Explorer here and just delete this .exec file, it'll be this obs.exec file that gets run. So this is a shortcut to that. I've not been able to actually find the option to run this as administrator from the root file. So I would recommend right clicking this, clicking send to, and then desktop to create shortcut. If you do not already have a desktop shortcut for the file that you're looking to run here as administrator by default. I said I would show how you could then set this up as a button to run it from the stream deck. So within whatever file you're looking to run this from what we want to be doing is running a system open file just move my camera out the way what a system open file does is it will look for that root file and then open it. It's as simple as that. So when you press the button, it will execute. It's almost like it's double clicking on that icon just from the clicking of a button. So within the system files here on the right hand side, and again, if you don't see system on the right hand side, just click these three dots and make sure that system is actually clicked to be viewable. Drag the open button onto the stream deck, click on it. And now we just need to locate that file. Now you can just paste in the location file that we looked in earlier, but again, that won't actually trigger the shortcut for it, which is tagged as being running in a as administrator. So what I'd recommend is clicking on the three dots and locating on the desktop OBS Studio. Now what I've noticed is don't always see OBS Studio when you locate it through the extension here via the root directory locator. So if you don't see it within the desktop section here, OBS Studio should be here. Just click cancel on it, minimize here and the shortcut that you do have, just control C to copy the shortcut and control V to paste the shortcut. Now this is a basically a pasted version of that. Now when I click on the three dots here and go onto desktop, we'll see OBS Studio here. I want to click open there. So that will now open OBS Studio from the shortcut. And just to check here, we'll right click on that new shortcut and properties. And we can see in the advanced tab, this is running as administrator. So now when I press this button on my stream deck, OBS is already running. Unless you meant to do it, please shut it down. Because I'm recording this video with OBS Studio, it's trying to launch it again. It was already launching, but it did work. It did work. So there you go, a couple of handy tips so that you can know how to run any file as administrator by default. Particularly if you're a streamer, this is really useful for running your streaming application as administrator because that can make a big difference in the stability and the smoothness of your stream. It basically prioritizes it as a Windows process. If you found this useful, once again, hit the like, comment, let me know that it worked for you. Uh, follow me on Patreon and, and, and on OnlyFans. I'd love to see you on my OnlyFans. See you later.